Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. The, now let's welcome Group 7 for the comments. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are group seven, and I'm Jui. Um, first of all, first of all, I will give uh, each members an individual comment. For 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 of diamond parts. Also. Seven pronounced currency. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, the perfect sound is guarantee. It is okay for this vocabulary. And I think Simon did a good job about she will use the town like, okay, now we are going to what? And she will use the high town and also the low town. That made me feel very bored. Okay, and for the painting part, I like I like her greeting. She will use the energetic greeting like "Okay, hello, and Ryan, Lion Penny." Yeah, I think it's very important to the presenter to have the energetic greeting, and it will help us to get more concentrated on her point points and also her presentation. And also, the last people. Oh, Patty Port. <laughs> um, Patty Porting. I'm so surprised that she will uh, record a short video. And also, as you can see, she invites her friends to give us an example. And also, it's a French word. French, right? I don't know whether I will have a chance to meet the different country people, but she also did a good job to <coughs> help us to know the cultures and also help us uh, and good, give, give us a good example about that. And also, the, that part is about the um, page 42. I think she chose a uh, great video to help us to understand how the different culture view the time. And this is my personal comment for the British members and I will give a board to Jai. I'm Jai and uh, the part of higher company culture is impressive. And the 40, the page for, um, Page 40 is very very impressive and there are many videos to demonstrate a thing, uh, different scenarios in different countries and I give a broad to Intent. Hi everyone, I'm Ming Chen. Uh, first of all, I want to say that this presentation go very smoothly and we can all hear you and the context is very easily to understand. And especially I want to say the high and low context culture part had a lot of video to support the context and we can easily know what you're going what you what you want to say. But there's a little mistake I want to point out is 
the pronunciation of made, I heard mad, but the right pronunciation is made. And this is all my comments, and I'll give the floor to Jing Chen. Okay, hello everyone, I'm Jing Chen. Uh, I think uh, all of three uh, members uh, have done a great job. And I would like to say something about uh, Peiyu. Uh, she speaks as much as usual, and I like her part of uh, interviewing his friend, uh, her friend, uh, uh, French from French. Uh, I think it's very special and it's very uh, surprised. Uh, then I give the floor to each other. Hi, I'm Ethan. Uh, I think their high and low contact part is very wonderful. And they are very careful to find the video and it's very interesting. And I will give the floor to group three. Thank you, group seven. Now let's welcome group six for the comments. Six, I'm Ping Yi, and I have a two point to share with you. And group three did a good job. And Pei Yu gave many examples on high no contest culture, but too many videos, and we can concentrate it. And Chen Yi very confident and present very well. And Dai Yuan can be more confident but very smoothly. Okay, I'll give the floor to Noi. Hello, I'm Noi. I want to say, in vocabulary part, I like when they highlight the vocabulary, and when, but I think this is a little bit too small. You can make it larger, it more easier to see. Yes. Okay, now I give the floor to Qingxi. Okay, hello, I'm Qingxi, and I like your uh, Hong Kong design, and uh, I like the videos you share. It helped me understand uh, high and low contact culture uh, better. Um, thank you. And now I give the floor back to the uh, to Now, but welcome for the comments. Uh, hi, I'm Mong Jun. I have three points I want to share. The first one is I think their all points background are bright and simplicity. And second is they also have uh, eye contact and gesture. I think it's very good. And that's why 
one is I like the high low context because I think they just lots of examples and videos. It is easy to let the audience understand easily. And I will give the floor to Huan Jing. I have two points I want to share. First one is I think that all um, did very well in this presentation. And the second part is especially high and low content. I um, really love it. That's really fun. Because Pei Yu uh, used many uh, videos to present the situation and let us clear to know the uh, difference in the concept of ties in different culture. Thank you. And I'll give the floor to Lu Xing. Hello, my name is Lu Xing. First, I think Pei Yu's French is really impressed me, and that's a perfect speech. You have a lot of voice and hand gestures. I really like this group speech. I'll give a back to group three. Thank you, group four. Now that will come group two. Hi, everyone. We're group two, and I'm Tom Sun. For me, I think their PowerPoint is very clearly and awesome. And all of them, their sound are very clear and loud. And by the way, they are two are very confident. And when it comes to high and low content culture, they e pay explains very perfectly and un understandably. I really like the high and low content culture, especially the video that you recorded. But I think not only Indian will live for the event. <laughs> I think Taiwanese, I'm the, I'm the one who included always late because I need to dress up and match the outfit. Put some accessories and match my outfit. Okay, just relax. Family is an excellent presentation. I'll give a call to Xiaoping. Uh, I think all of them are very confident, confident and in high low content culture. Hey, you start of funny videos too. Um, that we can easier to understand the differences. And she also made a video by herself. I think that is very diligent. Um, all of them have Good pronunciation. I think it is a good presentation. I will give a vote to Jiaqi. Hi, I'm Jiaqi. Uh, first of all, I will give a comment to uh, Dai Yuan. Uh, you talk softly, but I think when you talk like that, and um, but you're confident. But your confidence is enough to enhance your performance. I really like it. And next, I'll uh, next I'll give a comment to Kenny. Um, you sound very gener ge generic. Sorry, the way you interact with us was very great. Next, I'll give the floor to Group Three. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, group two. Now we will come to last group, group one, the comments. <laughs> yeah, hello, I'm Minyo. So I'm uh, here, I have two points to share about. So first, I think both Dai Yuan and Penny, they did a good job in Sonera too. They have a very good intonation. And in high and low context culture, I think Pei Yu give a lot of good video and it's very, very funny. And especially the video about the different of each country. And I'll give it for to Cheryl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Yalo. I really like their performance performance today, especially when Penny did a preposition exercise and when the audience answered the question, he repeatedly answered, I think that is really impressive. And I 
And also, I like when Da Yuan he she invite invited the uh, audience to demonstrate activity two. And then I like to give three suggestions. First of all, um, page eighteen. When Penny said this sentence, she pronounced the ones, but it should be pronounced the one. And also on page no, the one, the one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it starts with W. Although there's it's an it's a vowel O, but it's a one. W, just like we won the game. It's stupid. This word is one. We won. Exactly the same one. This word is very tricky. So it's not the ones. It's the ones. And uh, But that's a good point. It could be confusing. Okay. And on um, page 20, and um, expectations, Penny said expectations. And then, and then, I think Penny and Diamond stood too close to the podium. They should move to the middle to attract the audience attention. And the last is on page 40. Uh, I uh, uh, on page forty one, I I am confused with this video. <laughs> As I explained, I said that I couldn't find a funny video, so I will just show the introduction of Germany. So that's all my comment, and I will to Okay, it's my turn again. So I will give my comment to each individual from group three. Group three. For first of all, it's Dai Yuan. I think Dai Yuan in the vocabulary part, she highlight out the words, the key words with the yellow, which is very clear to see. Let me see, like this. And this attempt coordinator like this one okay and second painting I think for scenario two both of you and you and Diane perform well during this session for for example the pace the pronunciation however there is a little pity because both of you should stay at the middle of a stage to perform the real scenario and then you should have more eye contact during while you're speaking. And not only with the audience, but also with your team members. Because you're talking with someone, you are not talking with yourself, or even you are not talking with a slide. So you have, you must, to focus on people that you want to convey your information. Second is prepositions. I think the word is big enough, preposition. Yes, you divided the uh, questions into three or two in the each slide, so it's very clear. Just only three questions here, and two questions is clear. And the listening practice, I think you are very thoughtful because you highlight the keywords as bright yellows as the vocabulary part. So I think for this part, it's very thoughtful, like what main reason choose choosing this package for a second question why recommend a cruise incentive travel it's a very good tips also the strategy while we um, listen to the listening dialogue so I think this is very thoughtful and the last part is pay -yu. I think for pay -yu, uh, ex excellent idea to demonstrate a high and low contest culture by using a sense of time because it's 
quite important when we attend the international meeting, international conference, or no matter what kind of uh, formal event that we attend, because we will interact with people from all around the world. So if we have, have a well sense of time, we show we are not only show our respect to others, but also show our profession. We are really professional with the real workforce. And it's so amazing that you generally invited your friend from French, friends, yes, to help you to illustrate the sense of time in a real situation. And I think here, the video choice is also the key element to uh, show your audience about the concept of a high and low context culture. So I think it, it is it's okay to use uh, videos to demonstrate high and low context culture. Yes, and because you, you also provide a comparison table at the end of the uh, high and low context culture sessions. So this is clear to recap the idea, the concept about the high and low context culture. It's very wide, widely and a thoughtful strategy when you perform this session, it's a very excellent. So this is uh, all of my comment for group three and I will give the floor back to them. Now just give us a second for the best commentator. While we are waiting for Yaro Koto Yahoo Dictionary. Let's check out the pronunciation of what. That's a good point. Thank you for mentioning this. I didn't know that you didn't know. Now I know you don't know. The pronunciation? One. The title is O. Ma. The title is W. W. But when it comes to pronunciation of the and D, that depends on the pronunciation, not the spelling. This one is tricky. 他跟赢了，win，one，一模一样的发音，所以这个字是不要念成D，因为它是W开头的字。OK，good，good，thank you。OK，so and Wilson. That's welcome. Five of them. So give us the comments again. Just in brief. Also, she have the small mistake about the pronunciation about the guarantee. It is okay for that part because I think she tried her hard to do the good job. And the second one is plenty part. I like her energetic greeting. I think the 
good person to need to have this kind of uh, feeling about the greeting part, and it will help us to get more attention on her presentation. And for the next people, well, it's about heavy part. I like the very short video about he records a video about herself and also invites her friends. And the second is about the a video he chose. Uh, I think he chose a good video to help us to uh, totally understand about a content and about what she took me about. And this is the end of my comments, and I will go forward to Timmy. Um, Timmy and Girls 3 really did a great job. And I want to say, Pei Yu gave many examples on high no contest culture, but she had too much video that we, we can't concentrate. Uh, yes, now next. So now let's decide which one to go. Okay. In B. I second that. Do you know the meaning of second? Oh, yeah. Okay, I second that. And which one do you suggest? Maybe this can only set the meaning of the, this video. One focus at a time. Yeah. Since we are talking about polyphonic and monochronic, then just stick to the time frame. Don't elaborate to the we or me. Yes. And this part, just do like that. Could you do that now? And also the other one. The one that you are on. See, see, it's not to the point. It doesn't match, it doesn't support you. It's not your supporting detail. So you need to let go. Okay, next is Dai Yuan. She's very nervous, but she's been very com spoke very confident that we can easily to understand that content. And Pei Ming, she's very confident and very smoothly to present her by herself. Yes, and I will give for the Saints for choosing me as the best commentators. And I really like their performance, such as their gesture and eye contact, especially when Penny demonstrated the preposition practice. She repeatedly answered that audience gave and also I also I like to give them three suggestions. First is the pronunciation mistake. Um, when Pei say expectation, she say is not Penny. When Penny say is expectation, she say is patience. And then they Penny and Dai Yuan should stand in the middle of the stage to attract the audience attention. That is all my comments. And I will give my floor to Wen Shen. I'm Chao Shen, and thank you group three for choosing me the best commentator. And I think for me, their PowerPoint is very clear, clearly and awesome. And often their sound are very confident. And by the way, when it comes to high and low content culture, they explain very perfectly. And I really like the high and low content culture, especially the video that Pei recorded. And also, I think not only Indian will lay for the event. I think some Taiwanese will always, including me, are always late because everyone needs to dress up and put some accessories and match the outfit. Finally, I think it's an ex excellent presentation. Thank you. I'll afford to myself. <laughs> okay, so I will give my comment again as briefly as possible. So first, I want to say uh, Dai Yuan and Pei Ni, they use the high highlight um, for the keywords, demonstrate some keywords, okay? 
And second is when when you uh, present the scenario to you just stand at the mid middle of the stage and talking with each others when even with the audiences. <clears throat> and the preposition ex exercise, the words are big enough. And once again, the listening practice, you highlight, Penny highlight out the keywords to help us to build up kind of mindset when we listen to the dialogue. The last is Pei Yu. I think the excellent idea to demonstrate a high and low contest culture because the sense of time is quite important when we use, we can use, we can use in the real workforce in the future to understand the details and something that we should be more care about it. And it's so amazing that you genuinely invited your friend from France to illustrate the high and low contest culture in the real world, globally, more globally. And the video choice is also one of the key elements to show your audience about the concept about the high and low contest culture you want to demonstrate to us today. So that is all of my comments for group three. And once again, thank you for choosing me as the best commentator, one of the best commentators. And I will give the floor back to commentators. Commentators. Please. OK. Thank you. OK, I will give the floor back to group three. of the presentation through this meeting presentation and I feel less and less nervous and I'm getting better at public speaking and thanks for Dr. Leon to give me uh, this opportunity to practice which is really helped me a lot and also I want to um, appreciate I, I'm so appreciate to have Daiyuan and Pei Yu as my team members who were very supportive during the pre preparation. They are the best team members. Thank you. And I'll give the floor to Dai Yuan. Okay, hello, I'm Dai Yuan. And first, I'm, I'm very glad to be with Lin. And they gave me a lot of suggestions on my part. And second, mm, this time we all in charge of different parts than last time. So I think I learned a lot of uh, through the presentation. And last, I want to thank Dr. Liang again to give me the chance to present on the stage. It improved my speaking ability a lot. And I'll give the floor to Pei Yu. Hi everyone, I'm Pei Yu. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Chen uh, um, Yu for helping us to give everyone the candies. Thank you, I appreciate it. And then next, I want to thank Dr. Liang for giving us this opportunity to do this presentation and practice the, the content. I am in charge of different content this time and I learned a lot from the preparation too. And I especially want to thank my teammates for being so supportive. They are always there when, there's, when we run into something and we were able to dissolve it because we are a team and that was a really good teamwork. That was all. Thank you and thank all thanks for all the comments that was given to us. We really appreciate that. Thank you. Thanks for listening. This is the end of the presentation. Great. Thank you very much. Let's go back to page thirty eight. 38. That was an excellent presentation. Uh, there's only one word. Multitasking. That is, no, it's uh, monotonic. The last word, line two. Line Could two. you read this one together? Schedule. Gets quickly overwhelmed. It's monochronic or gets quickly overwhelmed. All, all of you together? Yes. Yes.
How do you read this word? Could you go to Yahoo Dictionary? He just read what? Kelly just read what? I don't remember. He read linearly. Linearly. This word comes from the word line. That line 变成形容词，变成 linear. Could you repeat the word? Linearly. 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 Linearly.
，你直接把这个字删掉，就讲 sense of time 有两种，一种是 multitasking， 就像有些人你去邮局，在之前是没有 take number， 就是大家都挤在一个柜台前面，没有 one at a time 的概念。Where did you come across this word? Um, an article. Okay, 那这个字就很难了。你还字典查不到，删掉，删掉，直接删掉。就是 sense of time. How do people feel about timing? 约定六点开会，然后六点半才来，很正常。但是对很多人来讲，你表定六点就是要准时啊。他说：“哎，我们在等等其他人，等谁？”那我们来的人不是人吗？台湾的思考逻辑都是这样，而、哦、我们在等人多一点再开始。那你不是处罚那个准时来的人吗 ？See the logic here? Yes. OK. 那你直接。我有查到另外一个字是。That's too difficult for them. They don't need to understand this one.、Okay. 这个太专业了，不要讲，直接删掉。Sense of time， 我们要讲的是对于时间的概念。一次单单次的时间内，我们只处理一件事情。例如现在上课，你就专心上课 ，one at a time， 一次处理一个客户，这个还没结账，后面的即使排很长，你就不用管它。但是通常在台湾，那个在结账那个人要在那里掏钱包啊，掏个十分钟啊，数钱啊。后面人就会抱怨他。But in low in high context in low context culture, just take as much time as you need. They don't. 那字下面的字要放大。好，我记得有。Okay, strict schedule. When we say three, it's three. They mean three, not three thirty or three something. Punctuality. And next page. 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 你们已经分成两页了。对，但是我的图是放在一起，所以然后我给你们发分开。OK， 好，那下一个，下一个 video。然后中间刚有删掉两个。你们这个 video of French etiquette， 你既然已经跟朋友录了，而且是你现场录的 ，that that one is better than this one， so you can delete this， we can focus on you， and we can appreciate your fluent French。In addition to English, you can speak excellent. So let's see this video again. This is still not found. You just delete the French people who said it. Use your own. Hello, Mr. Bill. Hello, Mr. Bill. I would like to ask you a question. Okay. What is your question? Okay. Mr. Bill, if I can speak French here, I would like to ask you at 18 o'clock. Je dois arriver. À quelle heure exactement Eh bien, je pense que le mieux c'est d'arriver à l'heure ou d'arriver un peu plus tard. Mais surtout, ne jamais arriver avant. Ah, c'est pour ça. Eh oui. Merci, merci. Au revoir. Here is the dinner. He says dinner at six. Is to go to someone's house to cook. Not to go to a restaurant. To go to a restaurant, you can go early. 他讲的这里讲的 context 情境是指去人家家里，有人邀你六点来我家吃饭，你是不可以哦，反正就早哦，不小心有停车位，五点半去敲门。台湾人是可以的，而且常常这样，但是在西方国家他们是不行的，因为他们要在 dress up 饭煮好了 ，they need to wear makeup, dress up, take a shower, get ready， 他要漂漂亮亮的。迎接客人，而不是一边客人一边吃饭，然后那女主人在那边一边煮菜
没有这个样子的 ，totally different. So you are is not allowed to arrive early. But in this scenario, it doesn't apply to the restaurant gathering. 去餐厅可不可以提早到？可以，可以还是不可以 ？We, we. It's public. 公共的空间是可以的，但是 private domain 是不行的。到人家家里就不可以。OK. Any other comments? No. Any other questions? Let's give them three hands again. If no questions, then let's call it a day. Thank you. Thank you.